All right, so hopefully in the last step, you were able to count up all the areas of the different tiles. So you have um, eight one square units plus six x square units plus one x squared square units. So together it should be eight plus six x plus x squared square units is the area of your rectangle as a sum. Now, part three says the area of a rectangle can also be written as length times width. So you have this length right here. And your width. Oops. And you can find the area of this rectangle by multiplying length times width, okay? So now your goal is to, instead of adding up the individual areas of the tiles, is finding your length of your rectangle and then multiplying it by the width of this rectangle. So I'm going to give you a little hint, right? We know that this is an x by 1 tile. So this right here is 1 unit, right? You can see it's the same as 1 unit right here. This is 1. And then this is x units long. So it's x by 1, which makes an x square unit tile. This already is 1, as we know, and so on and so forth. So together, you could do x plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is x plus 4. So you know the, the um, length of your width is x plus 4. And then I'm going to leave you to try to find the length of this rectangle and then do length times width. So... Um, let's do go ahead and copy this down in your notebook as a little hint, right? The width is x plus 4 because this is length x plus 4 units. And then you, it's your job to write the length and figure out the area as length times width. Once you've done that, go ahead and take a picture of your work and upload it here on DreamCview.